Hello everyone. Today we'll see the concept of pulse width modulation, in short PWM. Applications of pulse width modulation. It is used for driving the servo motors. PWM is used in audio video amplifiers. It is also used to control the brightness of lights, to control the power electronic switches such as MOSFET, IGBT. PWM is also used to control the speed of DC motors. How is a pulse width modulation signal generated? A PWM signal is generated using a comparator. So as shown in the figure, so comparator will compare two signals. The first signal is a sawtooth wave and the second signal is modulating signal and the output of the comparator is a PWM signal. Figure shows the PWM waveform. Here on the X axis we have a time. The Y axis represents the amplitude. The on time and off time of the pulse is same and we can calculate the frequency as per the formula frequency equals to 1 upon time. As the on time and off time both are same so the duty cycle is 50%. In the second figure in 25% duty cycle the off time is greater than the on time. In 50% duty cycle both the on time and off time are same. In 75% duty cycle the on time is greater than the off time and then 100% duty cycle there is no off time. So PWM is a powerful technique for controlling analog circuits with a microcontroller's digital outputs. Now this is an interfacing diagram wherein a DC motor is connected with the PKTNF controller. L293D is a driver IC. The output of PWM will be taken at pin RC2. Duty cycle of PWM definition the portion of the pulse that stays high relative to the entire period of the pulse or duty cycle is the percentage of the time for which the signal remains on. Duty cycle equals to on time upon on time plus off time. In the PWM signal the on time is represented with the duty cycle and this is a complete period of the pulse. In peak controller there are two registers CCPR1L and PR2. These two registers play an important role while writing a program for PWM in peak controller. Now how to calculate the output voltage of PWM signal? The output voltage of PWM signal is the percentage of the duty cycle. So output voltage equals to duty cycle which is expressed in percentage multiplied by operating voltage. So for example for a 100% duty cycle if the operating voltage is 5 volt then the output voltage will be 5 volt. So in the given formula you can put here 100% multiplied by 5 so we will get the answer 5 volt. If the duty cycle is 50% then the output voltage will be 2.5 volt. So put the value here 50% multiplied by 5 we will get the output voltage 2.5 volt. Peak of timers. So there are different timers used as per the mode selected. For PWM mode timer 2 is used. So to create PWM use timer 2 and PR2 register. Now this is a block diagram of timer 2 in peak of controller. So you can see here this is a comparator. To that comparator the inputs are from PR2 register and timer 2 register and the output of comparator is timer 2 output to PWM. T2 out PS3 to T2 out PS0 and T2 clock PS1 to T2 clock PS0. These are the bits of timer 2 control register. We'll see how to configure these bits. So timer 2 control register it is 8 bit register. Bit number 3 to 6 are the timer 2 output post scalar select bits. Then bit number 2 is a timer 2 on bit. If this bit is set to 1 timer 2 is on. If this bit is set to 0 timer 2 is off. So by using this bit we can turn on and off the timer. Then bit 1 to 0 are timer 2 clock prescalar select bits. This is a simplified PWM block diagram. Here also you can see there are two comparators. Lower comparator accept the inputs from PR2 register and timer 2 register. Output is given to the set input of SR flip flop. This is upper comparator. So one value from timer 2 and another value to the comparator is from CCPRH 
register this is a duty cycle register the output of upper comparator is given to the reset pin of rs flip flop and the final output of this block is pwm signal capture compare pwm ccp module of pic 18f controller there are one to four ccp modules in pic 18f controller each module contains a 16-bit register which can operate as 16-bit capture register, 16-bit compare register or a PWM duty cycle register. Each CCP module is associated with a control register, CCP con and a data register, CCP R register. Data register is comprised of two 8-bit registers, CCP R lower byte and CCP R higher byte. These are the applications of capture mode and these are the applications of compare mode. PWM period. PWM period is specified by writing to the PR2 register. PWM period equals to PR2 plus 1 into 4 into TOSC multiplied by timer 2 prescale value. PWM duty cycle. PWM duty cycle is specified by writing to the CCPR lower byte register and to the CCP con bits. PWM duty cycle equals to CCPR lower byte to CCP con bits multiplied by TOSC into timer 2 prescale value. Finally, the algorithm set PWM period by writing to the PR2 register, set PWM duty cycle by writing to the CCPR1 lower byte for the higher 8 bits, set CCP pin as an output using timer 2 control register, set this prescale value. Clear the timer 2 register, configure the CCP1 con register for PWM and set the duty cycle bits for the decimal portion of duty cycle and start the timer 2. So this was all about the PWM in PCATNF controller. Thank you for watching this video.